Hey guys, it's uh, Jonah here again. Um, got an interesting one for you. A uh, bit of an instructional video. Um, and uh, it's going to require some nifty, <laughs> nifty work on the old tripod. Um, always good to have a tripod, uh, in my estimation. Um, I'll, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, right, let's have a look. A view into the sink of doom. Can you see in there? Right, hey, look at this. This thing is a keg. Don't know if you can see on here. Ooh, five litre keg. And what you do, you fill, put your beer in here. Um, and when you're ready, you pull this tap open. Actually, you turn the valve on the top as well. And then you open up the tap. Your beer comes out. Put your glass under. Nice. Only problem is, what do you do when this is um, when this is empty, dude? I've drunk all the beer in here, um, and I want to reuse it. Well, they're pretty good. These German guys. This is where this was made. Um, you can recycle it, but it needs some implements. Um, it needs something like this, some pliers, and some sort of drift with a small. I've used a spoon here. Um, but I'm going to use this end. So anyway, we're going to show you how to uh, how to recycle this beauty. First of all, you grab this little little tap here. You pull it off. Yeah, just yank the bastard off. And don't know if you can see, but there's a rubber. This black bit here is rubber, and inside there's a red uh, a red little plastic washer. This is where the spoon comes in handy. So we're going to use the end of the spoon, we're going to push, push that little red thing. See, it's gone, totally gone. It's sinking, it's in there. <laughs> it's, it's drowning in the beer. Okay, now we're going to take the pliers. I've got to be a bit careful about this. But we're going to grab, whoa, we're going to grab this rubber washer and pull it out. There we go. So, what what I have done in the past is put some tape around here, or you know, piece of piece of plastic. If you look there, I don't know if you can see. See here, that's where uh, slightly out of focus. Yeah, that little mark there, just where my fingernail is. That's the plier mark on there. So you can wrap it with a bit of paper or. You can even put tape on your pliers. I should have done that really, but uh, never mind. Okay, so we got two bits. You can put that back together if you like, so you don't lose it. But we've got the third bit. Oh man, it's in here. You can oh, you can shake this around. If you're really lucky, it will come out. No, nothing so far. So the easiest way to do this. And I found this. It doesn't always work. Because <laughs> you've hung the water in there. Bom, 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 filling up the beauty. Don't have to fill it all the way up. Now, if we turn this upside down, the water's going to glug slowly because it's not fully open. So if I open this tap now, obviously the water's going to come out. Let's have a look. You see that should be beer ready, but it's water. If I do that when it's upside down, it really shoots out through the hole. So we'll see if, uh, if this works. Right, see it's glugging. Watch what happens when I turn the tap. Hear that whistle? That water's coming out. Now, if we're really lucky, there we go. Hey, did you see that? That doesn't, that doesn't always work. I'm glad it worked on camera. <laughs> okay. There we go. That's, that's the bit we were trying to get through. The other problem, well, the other part of it is we managed to get our, uh, thing rinsed out as well at the same time. And there we go, all back together. 
bung that in there. Get it all clean um, and we can recycle it again for more beer. Um, the other thing is, if you do destroy your little tap, I believe these things cost 30 pence. Um, so how much is that? Maybe in American money that's just under a dollar, maybe 50 cents, 60 cents, something like that. So theoretically you could pull these out and just chuck them away and use a fresh one each time. I'm a bit tight really with the old cash, so uh, you know, I'm a home brewer, you know, we're all tight. <laughs> anyway, I hope that uh, helped you out if you're uh, thinking of getting these. Believe it or not, these, these things are really amazing. Brilliant. You can fit five litres of beer, eight pints, I reckon. One gallon of beer in there. So, say you're doing a five gallon batch. Uh, we never ever get five gallons, do you, because of the sediment and all that kind of stuff. So, you're looking at four of those and a few bottles. You're loving it, man. You're well away. Anyway, guys, take care in the YouTube land, and we'll see you soon. Take care, guys.